Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I'm coming to you with a weekly TBR. So I asked in one of my videos last week um, if you guys wanted to see a July TBR and I did put a July TBR together. I've got backlist books on there, I've got books to read for NetGalley, I have new releases that I just bought, um, kind of a whole mess of stuff. There's a lot of books on there but what I decided to do instead of doing like the entire month was like week to week. I do enjoy doing these weekly TBRs, so I thought this would be a lot more fun. So yeah, quick little update while I'm sitting down here with you guys. I am officially done work. I was as of Friday. That's why there was no videos last week. Um, I was just trying to get things wrapped up and it was month end and you know all the things I've talked about this all before, but now I'm off on, as I'm calling it, my summer break. So I may have been a little overzealous. <laughs> <laughs> no surprise to anyone watching this channel <laughs> um, in terms of my weekly TBR. So this is the Summer of Category Romance. All of these books are Category Romance, uh, Harlequin books essentially, and they're relatively short, relatively easy to get through. I put seven on the list. A book a day. I'm actually kind of going for a book a day in July. Let's see if I can do it. Chances are it's probably not going to happen, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, my friends. So I'm going to go through the books here and kind of tell you where they fell on my master list of um, my July TBR. Because I just randomly, like I put all these books on a spinning wheel and I just spun the wheel like to get the seven books. And that's what I'm going to do next week and the week after. If you want me to actually do that as I'm doing this, that might be kind of fun too. So do let me know, um, you know, how you guys want to see that. You know, I can do a screen record from my laptop or I can just sit down here and talk about the books. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's get into the first one. This is one of, I'm calling these the, the backlist part, um, where I picked five books that I have backlist on digital format, like either my Kindle, my Kobo, or from the Harlequin website, or, uh, and then five physical backlist books. And the five physical backlist books are all books for the, not all of them, some of them are for, I have, I think a couple of the digital ones as well, are for the um, uh, Retro Romance Readathon that I'm co-hosting with my good friend Storm. Link to Storm's channel in the description box below. Um, so yeah, so that's coming. Uh, it's actually like mid-July, but I'm going to be reading Retro Romance all month, and I encourage you to do the same. So for the first book, uh, this is not a retro book. This one came out, it's fairly recent, Train to Defend by Christy Barrett. I will pop um, a cover of it up here. This is the first book in the Canine Mountain Guardian series, and I have this one on my Kindle. It's one I bought a while ago. We should get to it. I do not know necessarily what all these books are about. Um, I will list them all below for you guys in case you want to go check it out for yourself. Um, these canine books are generally, I mean, it's a, it's a suspense book, so it's a romantic suspense. It's love-inspired, meaning that it is a faith-based suspense novel, and they typically involve dog handlers. Um, this is the first in the series. Shockingly, I just so happen to be reading the first book in a series. Uh, the next book that I have is another backlist book, and this one I have on my kin on my Harlequin app, and this is Miami Marriage Pact by Nadine uh, Gonzalez. Um, this is a desire book. Uh, it's one of the last desire books I think that came out. I uh, the cover of this is just so summery. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I've got to read that in July. It just screams July to me. So I am really excited about this one. I don't know too much about it. It's Desire. I love the Desire books. I'm so sad that that line is gone. Um, this one just looks like a fun Miami kind of romance. It's going to be steamy, I'm sure, because it's a Desire book. So yeah, we shall see. Um, and then the next one I have is a is a backlist as well, and it's from my physical shelf, but this is one for the Retro Romance Readathon. And we have The Winning Heart by Jenny Allen. So there's the cover of it for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is number, I need my glasses, 2875, and I think it's from 1987. So we are considering retro um, anything that... Um, is prior to 2004, so it's a 20-year span. And this one, I just opened it, and I'm so glad I did this. I left the little notes in here from my friend Sonia. So she sent this one to me. And what does the note say? Uh, watch out for those teachers. And could her hat, scarf, glove combo be any more precious? And it's true. So the um, prompts for the Retro Romance Readathon are seasons. So this one, scarf, hat, 
I mean, you see, I think it might be Christmassy with the wreath there, but not too sure. This is definitely a winter read. Um, I'm not necessarily going to get all four seasons in, but uh, I'm definitely kind of going with the seasonal thing here on the covers. Um, so yeah, this one sounds good. Let me read the back for you guys. Burke Gerard dominated everything and everyone uh, on his Colorado ranch. He expected uh, to dominate the young city school teacher who, uh, who, because of an accident, spent two snowbound weeks in his wild uh, territory. Suzanne, however, was strong-willed too. At first, she det uh, detested this powerful, primitive man whose love seemed moat like lust. More like lust. I really need to put my glasses on. Um, <laughs> moat. Because <laughs> uh, that way it'd make more sense. Um, she uh, scorned him and battled him. And then she came to understand him and his kind of love and yearn for it. But she wasn't the only one who wanted him. Tiffany. Tiffany. Tiffany? Honestly, Tiffany. The girl next door. One of my good friends here on booktube is named Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> She's the beach bum bookworm. I'll leave a link to her below. That's why I'm laughing. Um, the girl next door, once engaged to uh, Burke, was determined to have a second chance. So it's kind of a love triangle, but not because you know how it's going to end. But uh, still looks good. This is one is not terribly long at all. This is, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next up, so that's it for like the backlist stuff. Again, I spun a random wheel, so I might get some backlist. I might not. I might get some uh, new releases. I might not. It depends on what comes up week to week on the wheel. Um, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. The next one I have here is, I believe... I'm almost certain. This is a Neck Alley new release. This doesn't actually come out till August. This is an August the 1st release. Um, uh, I think it actually comes out the last Tuesday in July, but it's considered an August book. And we have um, Her Summer with the Broding, Broding Vet by Scarlett Wilson. This is a medical romance. Um, I don't know at all what it's about other than the fact that it's about a veterinarian and that's what they mean by vet. So yeah, I am really excited about this one. I have a lot of books. All the books that I'm getting now from NetGalley are Harlequins. That's all I'm re uh, requesting are the category romance books. And my goal is because I'm now off work for an indeterminate amount of time. Um, yes, I'm going to be having surgery at some point. Yes, I'm going to be in the hospital at some point but I can still get a lot of reading done. Um, I am going to try and read them the month ahead for you guys, so you know if they're going to be any good or not. So I got George at the door, and he's trying to sneak his little way in. Um, excuse me, I will be right back. As soon as I open the door, he doesn't want to come in. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, the next one on my list now is also another uh, new release for August, and this is Her Alaskan Family by Heidi, uh, Heidi McCannon. And this is the first book in the Opportunity Alaska series. Super cute cover on this one. Again, love inspired means it is faith based if you're new to the channel. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed these ones. I think they're a lot of fun. This one seems super sweet. Looks very summery. I think it's going to be great. And the last one, I am almost certain that this is also a new release um, coming out in August. And we have How the Wallflower Wins a Duke by Lucy Morris. This is a historical romance. It is, of course, a um, uh, a Regency historical, uh, a duke, yet another duke. <laughs> there are thousands of them. <laughs> but this one looks super cute. I really like the cover on it. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this one. And the final book in this crazy week of reading that I'm hoping to get to, um, I have another medical romance. Again, it just so happened to come up with a second medical romance. I was going to re-spin so I didn't get the same line twice in a week, but I thought the wheel has made its decision. And the next one, this is actually a spoiler for my video coming out on Wednesday. Um, which is going to be a unboxing because I ordered a bunch of Harlequin books. Um, these are all July re July releases. So these are all out now. Um, you can get them on Amazon or whatever. And uh, so I picked one from each line. Oh, breaking my tablet. I will talk about that in that video so you guys will get more information. But we have Winning Over the Off Limits Doctor by Andy Clayton. How gorgeous that cover is. This is a large print. So that's something. Um, a prize worth fighting for. To protect her adoptive parents from pain, pediatric em emergency doc Maddie has worked hard to conceal uh, her more impulsive side. And yet the arrival of the charming orthopedic consultant, Dr. Lloyd, Dr. Yeah, 
Dr. Lloyd sees her throwing caution to the wind. Uh, Lloyd clearly feels the same instant attraction, but the shadows of past trauma haunting his eyes have put him firmly off limits. Unless Maddie's zest for, for life can win him over and convince the guarded Lloyd to take one final risk. I don't think it's Lloyd. L L W Y D. I'm sp I obviously, I read that wrong without my glasses. L L Y W D. How would you pronounce that? I want to say lewd, but that's not it, I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Looking forward to getting to that one. So those are the seven books on my TBR this week. So game plan for the channel, in case you're curious. Um, Sundays, I'm going to do these TBR videos for the week. So you guys will see my TBR for the week because the TBR starts on Monday. On Mondays, I'm going to be doing a wrap-up of the books that I read. So um, kind of my weekly wrap-up um, from the week before. And another video generally on a Wednesday, you know, um, and I'm actually thinking about Fridays about doing live reading sprints around 12 or 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, like in the afternoon. If anyone is interested in participating or if anyone is interested in co-hosting with me, um, do let me know. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to sit down just for a couple of hours and uh, do a live show on Fridays because, again, I'm home. Why not? Um, and I might do... I don't know when else I'll do videos, but I'll... I shouldn't say that. My goal is also to do daily vlogs. So even though I'm going to do a wrap-up video on... Mondays, I'm not going to talk about the books like when I finish them. I'm not going to give you guys a review. I'm going to condense all the reviews into that one video on Mondays. So that way, if you're looking for the review of a book, you know where to go. But um, weekly or daily, I'm going to just kind of maybe show you guys what I'm reading, how far I've gotten in the books, and also um, any crafty stuff that I'm doing as well, in case you guys are interested in that. So anyway, that's the game plan for the channel. I hope you guys are excited. I'm also hoping to do some more live shows with Steve Donahue. By the time you guys see this video, the live show that Steve and I just did today will have gone up. So I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. I don't normally do this little spiel at the end, but uh, there are some ways below in the um, description box in which to help support me and support the channel. Again, yes, I am off of work for an indeterminate amount of time. And, uh, you know, it's a bit of a hit financially, but we'll muddle through. We'll be okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you wanted to support me, support the channel, that would be great. If you can't, I totally understand. Like I said, just watching the videos is always support enough. And also links where you can find me elsewhere here on social media. Mostly, um, Goodreads is where I'm really active. Um, and Instagram, not as much. I'll probably try and get back into it this summer, but it's, it's not as big a priority for me. But definitely Goodreads is listed down there. So don't forget to follow me if you want to. Anyway, guys, until my next video, take care and happy reading. And thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.